the competition today is what we call breeder confirmation. Okay, and um, for Britneys, we have a uh, recognized set of standards, and it talks about how tall the dog should be, you know, um, uh, what the head should be like, what the eye should be like, what the top line should be like, what the tail set should be like, what our coat should be like, all these different things. So when we go into a uh, ring with the judge, that judge is to know that standard and then take a look at this dog and say, well, according to that standard, do I think that this dog meets those standards? Then how does this dog compare to all the other dogs that are in that class? As you win your class, it's, it, you continue to go up. You go in to beat the other dogs from other classes. So, you know, and eventually it comes down to what we call the best of breed, the very best dog in that judge's opinion at that show on this day. We're down in Center Hall, Pennsylvania. Nita Knee Kennel Club is sponsoring the American Brittany Specialty on Saturday. Uh, we're having the uh, agility match, uh, first all Brittany agility match tomorrow, Friday afternoon. But there's uh, about, 100 and, about 150 Brittany's here right now, just Brittany's. Uh, and there'll be more rolling in today and tomorrow yet. Gosh, it could be gone for five minutes, and you know, dogs are <laughs> dogs are always happy to see you, and that I think that's nice. They, I think they share stress. I think these events can be very stressful for dogs. I mean, my dogs, I know you can tell they're away from home, and they they may may not eat as well, and just not be their normal selves because it's a stressful activity for them. Go out there today. Oh, it went great. We got first place in jumpers. Uh, she she ran wonderfully today. Uh, it, it was a tough course. Uh, we we were concerned about one portion of the course. She handled beautifully, uh, and I'm, I'm I can't say enough about her. To be here to take part in it is is history. To take first place is history. You know, uh, it's just great. I can't you know. I, I guess there's really not the words to to put in to the way I feel about this dog and what she's done for me. Mm -hmm. You can't have this. No, you can't. <coughs> can't eat your brush. <gasps> oh, somebody's rodent, huh? Somebody's getting some exercise, aren't they? Yeah. Here's the sound cord. Hello. What's that? <laughs> In dogs who are relaxed, learn well, enjoy other dogs, enjoy other people, it can be really a very positive experience for the dog in that uh, it, for the most part it gives the dog a job. It gives the dog something to do and unfortunately in a lot of cases pets lay around without a lot of um, activities to drive it emotionally and, and intellectually whereas events like dog shows gives the dog really a purpose, a goal, an activity that um, it can work towards. Good boy, see? Now tell me how you read the dog's feelings to say that they... Uh, you feelings. have to watch their eyes and their reactions. You know, I mean, when you're showing a dog, you have to watch. I mean, uh, if you give a little harsh correction or something, if he's doing something wrong, you could tell, I mean, in the way he reacts to it, uh, if it was too harsh. You know what I mean? You have to learn to read that feeling. And it's hard for some people to do that because it is not like... Uh, it's just like a human being. I mean, you, you have to learn to read human beings' emotions, and it's a big, it's similar, very similar, because it's, a, it's just an expression and how they hold their ears or how they hold their head or mouth. You know, you learn to read that on a dog, you know, what they do with their tail and what they, you know, and that's very important, you know, on a dog and how they react. I really, the only thing that I say to myself when my dog loses is, how was the dog's performance? Was there anything that I needed to work on to improve? Like for example, puppies like this, 
you don't have any other choice but to come and pay your dues going into the ring and getting them used to it. So you have to be realistic about losing. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I have to admit, I walked out of the ring and say, you know, how, how, how did I lose to, you know, maybe, you know, some of the other animals that were in the ring at that time, you know. But, again, it's the judge's opinion, that judge's opinion on that day. I can't imagine, right now, I can't imagine life without her. I just can't imagine life without her. So yeah, you know, she's, <laughs> she's almost like a wife, only not as demanding. <laughs>